Greetings friends. This video will be set for remix, on my original channel. Michael New 1962. Please add it to your channel to ensure its longevity on the internet. This is a message from a credible source. This message is from a USAF pilot, who, allegedly, flies RSL tankers. As part of the secret program called Indigo Skyfold, a geo engineered aerosol chemtrails program. Please, may I call your special attention to the part of his testimony which implies a very new, extremely toxic chemtrail mix is going to be sprayed using new technology that makes these special chemtrails completely invisible. If you have a Geiger counter with an alpha, Beta probe, please test the aerosol followed. Now. And after January 20, 2015. The best way to test the aerosols is to wipe your car hood and windshield. With a clean paper towel, after a dry period of heavy spraying. Then, test the towel for alpha and beta radiation. This is especially important in California which has no natural radon sources upwind. By the way, the building at 7.30 is the International Criminal Court at The Hague, Netherlands. This is where the criminals behind these programs need to be taken to be put on trial while the world watches. P.S. If anyone can do a better job of narration, please let me know or upload your own video. Don't let this disappear from the internet. Testimony My cousin, who was fired by our dictator, just before making rank withheld, sent me information given to him by a friend, who is still an Air Force pilot. This pilot is saying that he flies chemtrail flights. This pilot told my cousin that this global engineering effort goes by the name of Indigo Skyfold. At least within the circle of pilots and aviation crews that he works with. They are told to fly specific routes. And satellite comm links, control the aerosol dispersal patterns. He says that they only make course corrections, from time to time. And perform landings and takeoffs. Pilot, navigation and maintenance screws are rotated constantly, and only spend about 18 months at one given base. He states, this is to keep pilots and their families from making too many friends, and ending up with loose lips. Plus, they also, rotate between day and night flights, one base for daytime flights, and one for night. Each base covers a 250 mile zone, and each fleet, squadron, of planes, can cover three states, or an even larger swath of ocean. They are told to simply do their job, and shut the fuck up. Their superiors will only tell them. It's a matter of national security. And without these flights, our enemy's newest technological weapons of war, could easily penetrate America's airspace at will. We are dedicated and committed to keeping our allies safe, from the same skyward threats. So we extend the arm of protection, to those countries who support our efforts. Hostile nations are also building atmospheric shields, while in the same discourse. Trying to explore weaknesses in our ever-developing, air and space-based technologies. Sounds more like a PR statement to me. I think this pilot, either believes what he is told. Or, he is simply trying to sugarcoat their genocide project. December 08 TH 2014 My firewall detected multiple intrusion attempts, when I googled the indigo code as well. Zero info to be found on the internet, for this operation. That is unique. I received a rather lengthy reply from the chemtrail pilot. Here is that text from his or her email. 
First of all, I would like to say, I do not agree with my mission assignments. But, what soldier ever truly does? Several of us have considered bucking the ranks, and going AWOL from time to time. We are kept in the dark, when it comes to getting honest answers about what we are really spraying. Should they discover that we, or our families, are actively inquiring about your so-called chemtrails term, then, automatic and swift disciplinary actions will be taken. HARP and RADAR are two other non-allowed research subjects. Unless our children are learning about this sin, in base schools, we are not allowed to educate ourselves, or our children, through any public tutoring system. I would not intentionally spray my children or family with toxic aerosols. But, you must know, 80% or better, do not have any family, or children. Indigo pilots are chosen from the top ranks, within the Air Force, Navy, and Coast Guard. Most of the pilots are hardened to humanity, and could care less about killing off, unwanted or leeching aspects of America, and the world. I swear to you. The majority of the pilots are like machines. I call them, tanker terminators. I should not be telling you this, but nearly one third of all flights, are being orchestrated from small unnamed islands, where newly constructed bases, are being built, at a rate of 8 per year. On these extremely remote islands, there are harp, arrays of every possible design. With many arrays surrounding these islands, within the depths of the ocean itself. The Navy has developed sophisticated underwater construction technology that allows fully autonomous robot submersibles to travel great distances and even manufacture parts for these massive underwater arrays as they progress across the open sea floor. Every time that you see or hear about military exercises at sea, they are basically there to give support and resupply their army of underwater robotic minions. There is possibly, one aquatic robot per plane, and will soon be doubled that. You will never be able to Google Earth search any of this. Other than an occasional error, in blurring some island bases, or smudging images of underwater arrays, it is impossible to locate all these artifacts. They even paint fake clouds, over some of our island installations, to keep prying eyes away. I have been shown some of these images, by civilian friends. That is the reason I know this. I completely understand your concern for human safety. But, here is the kicker. We are showing videos in our training, of catastrophic destruction to our homeland, by very sophisticated weapons. Then told that these will be the consequences, if we don't fly. Our efforts in building a defensive atmospheric weapons shield, are the only missions of its kind in the world. We are paid more than any other pilot, for our service. Other than Air Force One pilots, who make as much or more, and are also kept in a dark secret world, for their protection. They tell us that secrecy is our protection, and not to listen to any public rhetoric. We all know about Cyber Program Flashpoint, or FPO3 as it is known within the veteran community. This program is a self-destruct sequence, that can be remotely activated, from any ground, water, underwater based, or other air mobile unit. The signal is encrypted through three satellites, and cannot be jammed or blocked. At any given moment, you could only have 15 seconds, to make peace with your god. They tell us that FP exists, to keep planes from accidentally going down in heavily populated areas. They can remotely detonate our planes, over safe zones. But in the back of our minds, we are pretty sure this is a fail-safe program. 
to keep pilots from turning over assets to any public, private, or civilian authorities. Have you ever seen any member of the crew survive the few crashes that have occurred? Every plane that has gone down was completely destroyed. For a good reason, I'm sure. We risk our lives, in more ways than one, every single time that we fly. Especially night flights. They are ordering us to fly at lower and lower altitudes. We feel like massive. Dark Force Empire. Crop dusters. And know that one night. Baba or Billy Joe will fire their long rifles at us. When we spray their moonshine making operation, or pass over an illegal Mary Jane crop. I know for a fact, that some planes have been shot at, and subsequently brought down, by mostly Russian, Chinese, and Korean weaponry. But, the media will never cover these events as they are not allowed to report on our flights either. That must be true, for I have yet to see a detailed or in-depth report of our missions. On any public venue. Other than conspiracy shows and anti-government websites. I risk everything for disclosing so much information, and you will find very few like me. Even my own flight crew, would have me arrested and court-martialed if they knew of this dialogue. That is why I cannot email you directly. But, from what your cousin tells me, you are also risking everything, just to get this information out to your colleagues. I salute you sir, for standing up to the establishment, and big brother. I would love to go home tomorrow, and not rack up one more single minute of flight time except for a sweet little piper cub, or rat tail bar and racer. I miss those beautiful blue skies from my youth, and I am ashamed for hazing over that dream. Maybe, more of my fellow pilots will read or hear about this, and decide to come forward as well. I only know a small fraction of the larger picture, and they compartmentalize everything. Should I become aware of any, new, significant developments. I will email your cousin. He senses a wavering within, the ranks. And feels that a kind of, mutiny, is being boiled to the surface, of this whole geoengineering. Global whitewashing. If you catch my drift. My cousin still has friends in high places too. So, he is helping to protect him. Last word from pilot, was. All pilots, on leave, are required to report to their CO by December.15. For special training operations, to qualify for Indigo Phase 2 flights. Expected to be initiated by January 21st. Those were his words. Not the actual Air Force message. He wanted me to stress that. He believes that the focus of their flights will be moved to areas east of California and Texas in order to progress the drought further into the heartland. Plus, he feels that a very new extremely toxic chemtrail mix is going to be sprayed using new technology that makes these special chemtrails completely invisible. Atmospheric Shield of Protection he doesn't believe that either. End of message.